everybody and welcome back to Art a la carte and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a simple horse head base and how to draw that and then how to add some details to that to make it a little bit more of a complex picture. So to start this off I'm going to use some really simple shapes starting with a circle. Now if you have problems drawing a circle. Don't worry, I actually have a video on how to draw a circle. I'll leave that linked in the description box of this video or at the end of this video you can check it out. But this first circle is going to be the main part of the horse's head. Now going to the very top of this circle, I'm going to create a line that comes down and this is going to be the nose bridge line. Whether you want your horse to be looking completely to the side like a profile or you want a three quarters angle or you want your horse looking straight at you is going to determine the angle and direction of this line. For me in this drawing I'm going to draw a three quarters face so that you can see both eyes but it's definitely directional to one side. So I'm going to bring this bridge nose line down at a diagonal that's cutting in a little bit into the main head circle. At the end of this line, I'm going to create another circle that's smaller than the first circle. This is going to be for the nose, mouth, the muzzle section of the horse. To finish off the head shape itself, I'll bring another line that'll connect these two circles together to make kind of this horse head shape. Now, depending on what you want your horse to look like, you can change these measurements up. It's completely customizable. If you're brand new to drawing horses, I would recommend you looking at different reference photos to kind of figure out what their measurements are and base that on your drawing. Now let's go ahead and put in the neck. So I'm gonna go back up to that very top point and I'm gonna create an arching line that comes down. This is the top part of the neck. And then at the bottom of that circle, I'm gonna create another arching line that comes out. Now here is a pro tip, something that I didn't notice right away when I began drawing horses, is that the neck naturally tapers out as it goes from the head down to the shoulders, it gets a little bit thicker, a little bit more muscle in it. You don't want the taper to be super noticeable, but there is a slight size difference. Now believe it or not, this is your base shape for your horse's head. And now you can begin going in and adding in some of the smaller little details. I wanna put in my eyes and I'm going to use a technique that I learned from an artist years and years ago. That is to create a line that will go between the two eyes. This works great if your horse is looking straight at you and it also helps if your horse is at a three quarter angle. Now if it's looking straight at you, the line is going to be completely horizontal. But if your horse is at a three quarters view, it's going to be angled a little bit. But when it gets done, it should look like a T or an X shape. Because of the shape of the horse's skull, the eye that's farthest away from us is going to kind of bump out a little bit before it goes back into the nose muzzle shape. And if you notice that when you're drawing your horse, he looks a little wonky, it's probably the positioning of this eye line here. So play around with that a little bit more. Now I'm gonna add a few little details quickly for the muzzle. I'm going to add a nostril and his little mouth, but let's jump up to the very top of him and put in his ears. So here's a trick that I found from yet another artist that showed me how to create a nice arch shape for the ears. At the top of this circle, I'm going to create a nice half circle dome that goes up and use that as a reference guide for how my ears are going to be positioned. Now. If you've hung out with horses, you know that their ears aren't always forward. Sometimes they're back, sometimes one's back, some one's forward, they move all over the place. It's just a, a generalized guideline of where the horse's ears are. But another tip that I found in my drawing horse journey, was sometimes I would place the ears a little bit too high up on the horse's head, like they were just sitting right there at the tippy tip top. And they're not, they're kind of positioned almost like a headband. So. If you find you're just the, the ears are a little too high, that might be causing your picture to be a little bit wonky. You can bring him down a little bit. As far as drawing the hair, like the forelock and the mane, I actually have several videos on how to draw this if you wanna go into more detail about that. But a tip for drawing hair on anything is to think about it as an overall shape and draw that shape before you go in and add in like individual strands of hair. For other detailed features like the eyes and all of that, again, I will leave a playlist at the end of this video where I go into a lot more detail on drawing different features of the horse like the eye. It's just way too much to cover in, a, in one video. And I just wanted to give you kind of a base where you could work off of that and then begin to 
create your own horses. One thing that I find people tend to get confused about when looking at drawing tutorial videos is that they're expecting once they follow this, it's like a recipe. And if you put all the ingredients together, then boom, you should come out with a really good product. That's not the way art works. While there is a method to, to making your drawing and you wanna make sure that you get your foundation right before you go in and adding all the details, it doesn't necessarily mean the first time you draw something, it's going to turn out really good. In fact, most often than not, the first time you draw something, it's not gonna be that great. And if that happens to you, if you draw your horse and your horse doesn't look like a horse, maybe it looks like a cow. Um, first, just to let you know, you are in good company because the first horse that I drew that I was really proud of, um, my mom thought it was a cow. So yeah, you're in the, the meat club. <laughs> you and I are like art buddies with that. But don't give up on that. When you draw something and it messes up, it's a learning process. In fact, if you draw something and you notice that it doesn't look right, that there's something wrong, you should take that as an encouragement. That means your your artistic eye is noticing something and you're going to level up soon. You're, you're figuring out there's something off. Now you just have to begin to figure out how to fix what's off and, and that, that's part of the journey. And practicing, in fact, when I was drawing for this tutorial, the horse base was good, but I wanted to draw a slightly better horse with a little bit more detail that you see I'm working on right now. And the first sketch I did, I didn't like it. Um, it wasn't turning out. I was gonna cut it out of the video, but then I thought, you know, that's part of the process and I want you to see that, I mean, I draw all the time and I still, there, not every drawing turns out. In fact, more often than not, in the sketching process, I will go through several different sketch attempts before I get the, the base that I'm happy with. So let me talk a little bit about some things that I did to take to taking a simple base drawing of just a couple of shapes and making it a little bit more complex. The first thing is that I've done a lot of studies on the horse anatomy, more so than just the, the overall shapes that I showed you. The horse skull is, is, is unique. There are a lot of bits and bobs that are going on in that. Making a conscious effort to study the anatomy and what goes into creating whatever creature you're drawing can really add a little bit to your drawing. The other big tip that I will have is spending time creating your drawing. So the first drawing I did, it maybe took me five minutes to draw that. This one here, it took me more like a half an hour to 45 minutes to finish this sketch. So a lot more time went into it. You also can see areas that I erase and redraw again and reposition. Sometimes when we are just too excited to get to the end of our drawing, we don't wanna put the time and effort to make it the best drawing that we can. So to recap, allow yourself to make mistakes. Spend time researching and doing studies on what you're creating and then give your picture the time it needs to be the best picture it can be. If there's something that you would like to see how I would draw or a tutorial on, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys are interested in. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys. Keep drawing, being creative, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye.